all a very good morning, my dear kids. This is Spiral back here, your communication trainer. And today I am again going to train you all kids on your conversation skills, right? So in my previous videos, I had explained how to speak to people when they are questioning you regarding your school and your family, right? And my dear kids, I have received umpteen responses from the previous videos and all my kids have practiced really very, very well. I am super proud of you all kids because I can make it out that you all are implementing the skills, right? You all are following the conversational skills, which I am explaining you all, right? So in today's conversation, I am going to mold you and teach you how you are going to speak when people are asking you on these particular topics, okay? So my kiddos, I hope you all are ready, okay? So start. Now, if someone is going to ask you that what you had for lunch, okay? So you will say that, well, Uncle, Auntie, Ma, I had rice. And instead of that, what you can do, you can use the word lentil. I had rice, lentil, vegetable, curry. You can name the vegetable which you had for lunch, curd, salad, and whatever you had for lunch, okay? So I want you to, instead of using the word dal, you can use the word lentil, okay? Now let's go to the next question. What is your favorite food? Now you all can say that I love to have pizza, pasta, chicken, dosa, idli. Now suppose if people are asking food, so mention the food only, the name of that particular food, paneer, makhni, chicken, makhni, biryani, rizala, whatever, just the name of the food, okay? And you can say that I would, uh, I just like to try different, different food every, uh, you know, days, but this particular food, you can mention the name is my favorite because you can say it has got a lot of vitamins, a lot of, uh, you know, minerals, whatever is there, okay? But don't forget to mention the name of the food. Now, if someone is going to ask you, what is your favorite cuisine? Now for cuisine, you can use Chinese, continental, Tibetan, North Indian, South Indian. When cuisine will come, then you can mention, okay? North Indian, South Indian, Tibetan, Chinese, continental. Don't make these mistakes because most of the time kids make mistake here, okay? Now, if someone is going to ask you, what is your least favorite vegetable? Is there any vegetable which you people don't like to eat, which you kids are really fussy? Go ahead and mention the name. Like you can say Karela. So Karela in English, we call Bittergaard. You can say, ma'am, we don't like Bittergaard because the taste is so sour, right? I don't like them. You can say eggplant uh, because you can say that eggplant has not got that, you know, a great taste, which can, you know, really please kids. So what bottle guard, whatever vegetable you don't like, you can just mention, okay? Now, if someone is asking you, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Just mention the flavor. Well, uncle, auntie, or ma'am, I would, my favorite flavor is chocolate, butterscotch, vanilla, whatever just mention the flavor yeah. strawberry okay no need to mention yeah. that you know i like to uh, ha uh, have have uh, you know a uh, magnum or no don't go for brand quality walls no many kids they make errors here okay so flavor so flavor just put for this okay whatever particular flavor you are just loving so just mention that okay what is your favorite pizza topping now why the question of pizza is arising because this is one of the most favorite you know of food of kids so see even this is a very uh you know a good question people can ask you why you like this particular pizza 
what is the what is the extra you know taste in this particular pizza so if anyone is asking me what is your favorite pizza topping there are umpteen toppings like jalapeno spaghetti mushroom corn tomatoes a lot of lot of okay so you can say my favorite pizza topping topping is jalapenos with lots of paneer in it okay or you can say my favorite pizza topping is a you can say a that uh, that one what we say i just forgot the name just give me a moment or uh, you can see my favorite uh, pizza topping is mushroom yes you can like i like the combination of mushroom going along with chicken okay it's too tasty the taste is quiet uh, you know a uh, very filtering okay now if someone is asking you that uh, what you like to do for fun right so for fun what you can do you can say for fun which gives me a real real enjoyment i like to spend quality time with my friends by riding a cycle i love to play games sometimes with them okay then fun see the word here is fun so for fun what is that that is giving you inner peace inner satisfaction so fun you can say that i love to water the plants i love to play with my pets it gives me lot of lot of enjoyment okay now if someone is asking you what are your hobbies now my dear kids hobbies are very 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 important okay for your growth for your nurturing so always try to have a hobby which has got a lot of enthusiastic features you can say i uh, as a hobby man i love to dance because uh, by dancing i stay fit and fine okay i love to do swimming i love to collect stamps sports cards lot of hobbies are so many i love reading books and reading is very good for kids as it increases my vocabulary it enhances my communication skills so hobby when they are asking you you can put your hobby like i like to do this as this is my favorite hobby or i like to do do this uh, you know this this is my passion and try to put one advantage that why you want this as your hobby why this is your favorite favorite hobby okay my dear kids now if people ask you what how do you help your mother in household chores so yes my dear kids you all should help your mother right because she is extremely busy she is doing so much work right so you can do small small household goals to help her so you can mention that ma'am uh, or uncle auntie when mama is bringing the clothes i try to fold the clothes in my own way at evening i try to water the plants sometimes you can say i clean my house and i make it sure that the toys are not littering on the floor because anyone may trip off so these small small helps makes my mother feel very happy you can say ma'am uh, just for fun i wash the vegetables for my mother okay now the next question that goes for you is when someone is coming to your house how you are going to greet your guest okay this is a very important question so what will you do when the guest is entering your house you can wish him or her that very good morning very good afternoon uncle auntie grandpa grandma just ask them how was your journey did you face any difficulties after that make them feel comfortable show them your space where you know they can go and sit and relax and give them a glass of water so the common question that goes for you is when the guest is arriving at your place how you greet them okay so these are the few questions i covered so my dear kids please 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 follow these questions okay and just be yourself okay so till then this is your trainer pail here signing off stay connected with me for few more exciting videos till then thank you and take care of your health take care of yourself bye bye